For this geometry Pythagorean theorem hands-on activity, you will need markers, colored pencils, crayons, this piece of paper, and scissors. The first step is to identify which square is larger and which square is smaller. So obviously, the square on the outside is the larger one and the square on the inside is the smaller one. Now I'm going to color the perimeter of the larger square orange just so we can see it. And the smaller one I'm going to color blue. So again, the larger one is orange and the smaller one is blue. The next step is to label the shortest side of all the triangles A. There are four triangles all on the outside, making up the larger square. So this is A, this is A, this is A, and this is A because this is the shortest side of the triangle. The next step is to label the medium side, which would be this side, which because this side is C and C is the longest. So this is B, this is B, this is B, and this is B. The next step is to circle the letters you would multiply to get the area of the outer square with a red utensil. So A, B, A, B. Why is this? Because A times B times A times B equals the area. The next step after that is to circle the letters you would multiply to get the area of the smaller square with a green utensil, which would be C and C, because C squared equals area. After that, cut off two of the triangles from the outer square with scissors or a sharp utensil. Maybe. It doesn't matter which triangles you cut off right now. You can just put this to the side. All right, once you have your two triangles, put both of the long sides together. Do you notice anything? A rectangle is made up of two triangles. If one of the triangles or if the area of one triangle is half AB, then color the amount of what the area of a triangle would be. Color this with the crayon color mac macaroni and cheese. Yes, this does exist, but I'm going to color it with red violet because it shows up better. But when you do your hands-on activity, color it with the macaroni and cheese. All right. After that, you see that half of the tri or half of the rectangle is a triangle, and that is half the area. After that, cut off the two remaining triangles from the smaller square and put them together with the other two triangles to make a square. Alright, once you do that you can see that it's a square and the area of triangles can be found with the formula 4 times half AB 
which equals 2AB. So color the triangles so that they show this formula with their Crayola crayon color voted number two worst ever made, which was flesh. But since flesh doesn't really show up, I'm going to use brown. But again, when you do your hands out in activity, make sure you use the color flesh. Alright, once you have those colored, you can see that just like the rectangle, it is half of the square. So after that, take the two flesh color triangles and place them on either side of the smaller square. This gives you the equation area equals c squared plus 2ab. Then, which is 2, A, B is, are your triangles, and C squared is your smaller square. Then take the two remaining triangles and put, the remaining, or put them on the remaining two sides of the smaller square. Now, this gives you the equation A, B, or A plus B, and A plus B, or, sorry, A plus B times A plus B, which equals c squared plus 2ab. After this, write the equation on the smaller square in black utensil a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equals c squared plus 2ab. And then you are going to FOIL that and after this is done, type in the equation you get into Google and see what it proves.